I can't remember the last time I made a video like this, so bear with me if I uh, stumble over my words or don't make a ton of sense or literally whatever. Um, Marcellus Williams is an innocent black man in the state of Missouri who's been on death row, I believe, for the last 24 years, and he is uh, slated to be executed, to be murdered by the state of Missouri um, at 6 p.m., uh, Central Standard Time, if I'm not mistaken, that's um, four hours from now. And so um, the Innocence Project has been urging people to call the office of Governor Mike Parson um, in order to uh, convince him to um, halt the execution, uh, grant clemency, um, literally anything that could keep this man alive. Um, his case uh, has been found to be constitutionally unfair. Um, the prosecuting attorneys have said they've, they've opposed his execution. The victim's family has opposed the execution. Uh, nearly 70 Missouri faith leaders from the Christian, Muslim, and Jewish communities, as well as the papal nuncio, who is a representative from the Vatican City for the Catholic Church, they have all expressed support for clemency. Um, and yet it looks like within less than four hours, unless something happens unless a miracle happens this man will be dead this man will be dead before the sun sets today uh barring a miracle um i'm doing a lot of things today <laughs> that i don't usually do um i haven't made videos in a while um here I am. Um, I, I, I hate phone calls. I despise phone calls. And um, I called the governor's office today. Um, his mailbox is full. And I almost let that stop me until I realized you can still fax his office. You can use a website called faxzero.com. You can write out your message to Governor Mike Person, and he should still receive those messages. At this point in time, it sounds like he's already said no. It looks like we're banking on the Supreme Court to intervene here. And yet, um, don't let up. Don't let your voices be silenced. Um... I, posting on social media is huge, calling the governor's office is huge, faxing the governor's office is huge, encouraging people to do, to play their part is huge, and so, um, I, I want to use my platform and the voice that I have to encourage people to reach out. Um, if you're like me, I consider myself to be a much better writer than a speaker anyway. Faxing is brilliant. Um, in a few minutes, I'm actually going to read the message verbatim that I sent to the governor, uh, if that inspires you. Um, I'll actually do that now, and then I'll get off, um, off camera and, um, I don't know, hope, pray. I don't consider myself to be a massively praying person, but <sighs> yeah. anyway, uh, the message that I hope you use as a template for your own reads. Hello, my name is Madeline Jones, and I am calling regarding the impending execution of Marcellus Williams. There is overwhelming evidence that the trial of Marcellus Williams was constitutionally unfair. Nevertheless, the great state of Missouri intends to murder an innocent black man in just a few hours' time. The victim's family has made it clear that they oppose this execution. The prosecuting attorney has come out in opposition to Marcellus's execution. Nearly 70 Missouri faith leaders from the Muslim, Christian, and Jewish community, as well as the papal nuncio, have expressed support for clemency. Do not let the blood of this innocent man stain your hands and stain the great reputation of the great, uh, and stain the reputation of the great state of Missouri. Missouri should not commit the irreparable injustice of executing an innocent person. Make the right decision. I thank you for your time. Likewise, I thank you for your time. I thank you if you've listened this far. I also urge you to make the right decision and do whatever it is in your capacity to make sure that this one innocent life is saved. And I also implore you to remember that innocent lives are lost 
so frequently and so often on the bases of marginalized and oppressed identities. The fact that Marcellus Williams is a Black man, the fact that he's a Black Muslim man, um, has undoubtedly factored into uh, these decisions that are being made. Um, regardless of your racial identity, your ethnic identity, your religious identity, or lack thereof, regardless, I... I want to implore everyone watching this to stand for justice. To stand for justice and compassion and peace and equity in every fathomable capacity. I hope that the next four hours will yield a miracle. I pray that the next four hours will yield a miracle. And yet, if you, like myself, are from the United States of America, you are likely all too familiar with the fact that miscarriages of justice occur monthly, weekly, daily in this country. So much of this country is built upon perpetual miscarriages of justice. And so, God forbid, if Marcellus Williams breathes his last today, I implore you to remember that the fight for peace and compassion and equity and justice extends so far beyond today. I... I ask that we all play as much of a role as humanly possible in... Creating a better world. This man has been on death row for 24 years now. For context, I'm 28. This man was found guilty of a crime 24 years ago that I believe was committed 26 years ago. A crime that he did not commit. That DNA evidence shows he did not commit. And yet, despite overwhelming support. 1.4 million signatures. Last I checked, over 40,000 phone calls, emails, tweets, social media posts. Those who are committed to injustice are in it for the long haul, and we need to be too. Um, I hope that this reaches someone. I'm going to stop talking because this video is almost eight minutes long and I need this video to reach other people who care enough to help. And I know this community I've created across social media. I love this community that I've created. And I know I... Do, I, I I know I don't have to beg y'all to do the right thing, but this is something that's been on my radar since June, and it took me till today to call. And that's a self-call out. That's unacceptable on my part. And this is all I can do. I am one person with one voice, but I am connected to many more people with many more voices, and I implore you to use them. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day. I love you.